June the 11th, the day Peter Dinklage was born, the day Henry VIII married his only legitimately fit wife, and as of today, the day Brock Lesnar finally surpassed CM Punk's world title reign record. Wow, eh? Yep, as of right now, Brock Lesnar has been Universal Champion for 435 days, officially making him the longest heavyweight champion in WWE's modern era. In that time, he has defended it again. Let's work this out. We've got Samoa Joe at Great Balls of Fire. We've got Braun Strowman, Roman Reigns, and Samoa Joe at SummerSlam. We've got Braun Strowman again at No Mercy. We've got Braun Strowman and Kane. That was a good one at the Royal Rumble. We've got Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. And of course, Roman reigns again at the greatest Royal Rumble. Let's do some quick math. That's one title defense. Tap, 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 tap. Every 72 and a half days. It's one every two and a half months. You're going to be stripped of the thing if you don't do it in 30. That is bullshit. Now, if I was being cynical here, and obviously I am, you could say this was a very deliberate move designed to phase CM Punk out of a number of conversations. Just in the same way when AJ Lee left the company, they threw the Divas title at Nikki Bella and forgot about it. This means they now no longer have to mention Punk for this particular honor if they don't want to. Previously, when talking about the all-time great title holders in the company, they had to mention CM Punk, and now they don't. It's hard to argue that Brock Lesnar isn't a good fit for this kind of honor, but his schedule makes it almost completely hollow. But hey, if nothing else, this does at least answer that major question we had earlier on in the year. Why on earth would they push Roman so, so hard for so, so long, only to have him fall at the final hurdle in front of Lesnar? Was it for storytelling reasons? Was it to enhance his character? Was it just to surprise us? Uh, no, no, it wasn't, was it? It was so they could let Brock Lesnar, a man they like, beat the record of CM Punk. Ah oh, man, they don't. Brock Lesnar won the Universal title the week those new pound coins came into circulation. Brock Lesnar won the Universal title when Chris Cornell was still alive. It's been time. But never mind all that. Congratulations, Brock. A worthy record for a worthy champion. Truly, sir, you are one for the ages. Let us know what you make of all this. Oh, Christ, there is the subscribe button by leaving a comment below and watch one of the other videos appearing around nipple level if you like. It's your life. After all, until next time, my name has been Adam Cleary. Here's to another 435, and I'll see you soon.